folks, greetings and welcome to my even first video tutorial here on YouTube and Vimeo. My name is Manuel Meyer, most people know me as Janus, or Janus, however you spell it, which is also my company name for Janus Photography and Art. I'm here in Tirol, Austria, so my formal language is actually German, but I thought I'd do this tutorial in English, since I hope to start a wave which goes around the world. I thought I'd start with something that makes not just sense for photographers and photo editors, and give it a meaning. A meaning to something not specified to a certain kind. The topic on this one is a scene on the example picture you see now. Nothing will change from looking away. And I would think and hope this campaign, as said already, goes around the world and opens people's eyes and makes them move their asses, because that is how it is. If you just look away from stuff like animal abusement, child abusement, money and capitalistic things, political stuff or like to specify it a little more, uh, that are rated somewhere at the boundary and not seen by many people not having their minds recognized them yet. So I think about stuff like uh, what happens to our food which we consume every day and is sprayed by poison which so called which kills so called vermins and pests but also small animals and shall not harm us? I don't think so. Media controls our minds to lead us to what we shall know and not what really happens out in the world. You can think about it yourself just by looking in our regional media which we read, maybe read, every day and people you know of. But how much is real and how much is just a better story? Well, I could talk about this for quite a long time now, but I think we just start with the tutorial. I will show you how I made this picture and hopefully will make one of your own or for your friends, for your family and share it with the world on Facebook. I've made a Facebook page for this, you can see it now on screen and if you do so, just post your picture on the page and tag it with don't look away. Good, first of all we have to choose our pictures. I go into bridge and there are some pictures we've made a while ago and let's see yeah I've used this too um, first of all I open both pictures right click open um, yeah well I have a German Photoshop CC so commands are different for you and I try to explain them in English as far as I can well, I have my two pictures here. I have already uh, adjusted uh, the lights and everything for the picture I've made already, so I am gonna skip this part actually. But uh, for people who don't notice, um, if you have one picture and you shot them with the same light, uh, same flashes and everything, and you want them to have the same uh, values here, just take the one you adjusted already and click on uh, control and then you click on the picture and then you can say synchronize and the pictures will be at the same values then you click on open and open both pictures takes a while good now we have our two pictures here we have the main picture with my hand on my eyes and the second picture where I just want to have the face, so I cut the face out, <coughs> excuse me, and copy it in. Then I go on opacity a little down so I can place it right where it has to be. Blend it out, blend it in. Um, actually, you have to see where it fits best, which is actually in my case and probably also in yours, the nose. So I just have a little a little tip of the nose here, which I zoom in, and I place it there where my nose ends. This spot here. Good. Um, next step, I make a mask. Working on mask is pretty much nicer than just using the rubber. So I now take the pencil tool with a black color and use a soft pencil brush with a, like yeah a thousand is good and uh, select uh, the mask and not just uh, the picture so I draw on the mask 
And now I paint away what I don't need. Get a little smaller. So now I have here the picture below revealed. Now I use Control I to see, okay, do I have something that needs to be re erased? It looks good. Okay, um, I go right click on the level and click on fill options and use the first in the row now. Um, I think it's fill method then. And then I just scroll through and see, aha, uh -huh, okay, changes. I see the, the hand which is in the first picture. You can look further down if there is some better way. Nope, I go back to this one, click OK, <coughs> and then um, you could also make this picture in color, but it looks way nice and black and white, so I've made it and made it black and white. Um, I now copy this level, this layer, with Control J, and now I go on Correcture, Picture Correctors, and down to black and gray or black and white. Make the same with the other picture. Now I already have a way nicer picture. Good! Um, well, you can choose yourself how much you want to see of the face uh, which is in the second layer. Um, I would like to erase the mouth since they're overlapping. They should of course not overlap. So I delete this part, use the mouth which is in the first layer. Also if you zoom in, I have here out of the darker colors uh, skin I don't like so I delete this one as well. Yeah, I like my bird here, I think I leave it as it is. What bothers me or what I don't like is uh, that little wrinkle on my eye. It comes from the, from the hand. So what I will do is I copy that part out, paste it in, and well I could use a layer but well screw that, I just delete it, um, basically it's 100, and I paint over, so my eye doesn't look that screwed up. And I also do the same with the nose part, since it looks a little crumbly, so delete the part. Soften it a little. Since I want to have the hands, hand seen <coughs> a little in the nose and everywhere, I uh, use the rubber with a little less opacity, 27%, and go over that so this looks a little better to me. If I blend it out and in, see the difference? Looks good to me. Hot time, Harry. Um, okay. Since this looks already good to me, I combined all the layers. I used Shift, take them all together, and then Control and I. Um, so now I have all layers together. Um, I, <laughs> I actually used the old-fashioned way. So I take Control A, Control C, then I go steps back to before I reduce the layers since maybe I want to change something afterwards. Probably not in this one, but it could be. Well, um, you can use the with Control M the radiation. Okay, does it work with the video on? So where do we have it? Or is 
let's use the shortcuts. There we go. Um, I want to change the colorizing. Con could use contrast as well, but I like this one better. And looks good. But what you also can use, and I like them pretty much, you're free. It's the Nick collection of Google. Um, I'll not show it here. And there are a few different cool filters. Of, a few of them are quite not so good, but I like the Vivesa. <coughs> and you can tune the colors here pretty good, pretty, pretty well. And I like to give them a darker look. And the cool thing is the dynamic here, the structure. Yeah, just do it the way you like it. That's just fine with me. It takes a little. Good. I corrected that now. And now I want to make it a little more sharp. So I go to Unsharp Mask. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then, next step. Since I have the size of the picture already with Fitch's Facebook cover pretty well, the size of <coughs> size of well, I made it bigger. It's 1,702 to 630. Um, well, I use this picture now. I take a screenshot. I can also copy it and paste it in. But I use a screenshot since it already has the, the size I want it to have. So I copy it in. Place it about here. So I have space for text on the left. In case you make a picture on an uneven background, you can of course uh, make your own background here by selecting it and fill it with something else. Good. What I don't like is that my eyes, my right eye, is a little too dark, so I lighten it a little. Good. Then I write my text. Nothing will change from looking away. Color it white. Make it bigger. I use the font Oswald. I think it's a free font. Get it on the font.com or something like that. <coughs> I like to make the font a little bigger, so I do something like 100 and 100. To see if I checked what I did before. I set it to have middle. I mean, you can adjust the size just as you want, but I'll make it almost the same. It's just fine. Maybe give it a... Make it a little bold. <coughs> well, looks good so far. And now I go back to the Nick filters again. And there is this that analog FX Pro. I mean, you can use it or not. I like that one, so it looks a bit, a little bit crunchy, a little bit old. Ah, okay, sorry. I have to combine them. Control E as before. And again. And you have a couple filters here you can use. Well, try them out. The one fits your best, the one you like the most. Well, even if you like them anyway. Um, well, I use. No, I use this one. Yeah, looks good so far. 
a little yellow now. I like to have it all grey, so it's better this way. And now I have some dots which disturb me. I use the correction filter, automatic correction, which I don't want to have. Like. More well, could now just the uh, brightness again, make it darker, lighter, or I could just use the filter which I made my own, which I saved. So, I predefined filters, which is this one. So, I have about the same I've used in the my own picture which I've made first I can also combine the two of them since um, there's the opacity go down a little so I have a combination of two of them since the font is pretty much blurred I can take that part out I have 20 same opacity on the rubber away. Well, I think our picture is done. I hope you liked that small tutorial. As I said before, you can post it on Facebook, on our own page, Facebook page, and tag it. The link is now shown. It's here, somewhere here. Yeah, hope you like it. Hope you're doing the campaign. Hope it goes around the world. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye then.